Welcome back to GitHub Awesome. This is episode number three of our GitHub Trending Weekly series, where we explore the top open, open source projects making waves right now. I've handpicked the top 15 trending repositories on GitHub this week. So grab your coffee and let's dive right into it. First on the list, we've got sidekick.nvim, your NeoVim AI sidekick. This plugin integrates Copilot LSP's next edit suggestions directly into your workflow so you can review and apply code changes without ever leaving your editor. It features rich inline diffs with tree sitter highlighting, hunk by hunk navigation, and even status line integration so you know exactly what's going on. But the real magic? It comes with a built-in AI terminal, giving you direct access to tools like Claude, Gemini, Grok, and Copilot CLI, all pre-configured out of the box. You can chat with AI, generate fixes, or run prompts that automatically include your code context. Next up, Spider, an open source OSINT research toolkit built for investigators, journalists, and security researchers. Spider aggregates searches across large global databases to surface details on phone numbers, IPs, emails, social profiles, domains, physical addresses, license plates, usernames, and more. It even bundles tools for deep dives like domain lookups and cross-platform username searches. Powerful stuff, but a serious reminder. Spider's capabilities should be used responsibly and legally. It's built for legitimate research, threat intel, and investigative work, not harassment or doxing. Coming in next is CraftGPT, a tiny language model running inside Minecraft. Built by Sam Yuri and trained on the TinyChat dataset, CraftGPT is a novelty project that squeezes model inference into Redstone and Minecraft mechanics. But heads up, don't expect high fidelity answers. The model has a 64 token context window, is prone to going off topic, and often outputs messy or nonsensical text. To run it, you'll need serious hardware and patience. The server needs 30 to 64 gigabytes of RAM. Next up is Flareprox a super simple way to handle IP rotation and URL redirection using Cloudflare workers. With just a single command, Flareprox deploys HTTP proxy endpoints that can forward requests to any URL you choose, while automatically masking your original IP through Cloudflare's global network. Under the hood, the worker handles everything, extracting your target URL, proxying the request, and relaying the response all while hiding your IP. It's a clever use of Cloudflare's worldwide CDN for lightweight proxying and traffic redirection. <music> Moving on, we've got Eclair, a privacy-focused, local-first AI assistant designed to help you organize, search, and automate your personal data. Unlike cloud-based assistants, Eclair runs entirely on your own hardware. That means all your notes, tasks, documents, photos, and bookmarks stay private by default. It unifies your data into one place, and the AI can actually connect everything, letting you search, classify, and automate workflows across multiple file types. It supports a wide range of local and open models like Llama, Mistral, Gemma, Quen, and Olama, while giving you an open AI compatible API so you can integrate it with your existing tools. Next on the list is Claude Code Now. Claude Code Now, a tiny macOS utility that makes launching Claude Code way faster and easier. Normally, starting Claude Code means jumping into terminal, picking a folder, confirming workspaces, and dealing with permission pop-ups, a process that can take 35 seconds or more. With Claude Code Now, it's just one click. Launch straight from your dock, finder toolbar, or any folder in about three seconds flat. That's a 10x efficiency boost. If you launch Claude Code 10 times a day, you'll save around 30 hours a year just by skipping the hassle. Up next is Hunyuan Image 3.0, a multimodal model for image generation. Unlike common DIT-based approaches, Hunyuan Image takes a unified autoregressive framework that directly models text and images together. The result is more natural prompt adherence and richly detailed outputs. It's also the largest open source image generation mixture of experts model ever released with 80 billion parameters across 64 experts and 13 billion activated per token. Thanks to reinforcement learning, post-training and curated data sets, Hunyuan Image 3.0 excels at producing photorealistic, 
aesthetically pleasing images. Number eight, New TS Air, a breakthrough in on-device voice AI. For years, ultra-realistic text-to-speech has been locked behind web APIs. New TS Air changes that, delivering human-like voices, instant cloning, and real-time performance, all running locally on your device. It's built on a 0.5B LLM backbone optimized for speed and quality, combined with New Codec, a proprietary audio codec that produces crystal clear speech at low bit rates. The model is packaged in GGML format, so it runs efficiently on laptops, smartphones, and even Raspberry Pi. Next up is Scale CUA, an open source project pushing forward computer use agents that can actually operate GUIs across platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu, and even Android. These agents are powered by vision language models, giving them the ability to see and interact with software interfaces. But the real challenge has always been data. Unlike image text pairs, data sets for real computer use are scarce and expensive to collect. Scale CUA tackles that by introducing a large scale data set spanning six operating systems and three task domains built through a closed loop pipeline, combining automated agents with human experts. Next on our list is Juan Alpha, a next-gen text-to-video model that takes generation to the next level with built-in alpha channel support. That means it can create videos with transparent backgrounds, making it easy to layer generated clips into any project. Juan Alpha handles semi-transparent objects, glowing effects, and fine-grained details like hair with remarkable clarity. This unlocks new creative workflows for animation, video editing, and VFX, where you can drop AI-generated scenes directly into your pipeline without tedious masking or green screens. Next up is foreve.link, a minimalist, permanent URL shortener that runs entirely on Cloudflare's Edge network. No servers, no cron jobs, and no expiration dates. Foreve.link turns long URLs into short, memorable aliases, like foreve.link slash GitHub, and lets users reserve custom slugs. Redirects are served from Cloudflare's global edge in under 50 milliseconds, making it blazing fast. It's completely free on the Cloudflare free tier, with 1 million requests and 1 gigabyte of KV reads per month. And setup is simple. Deploy with Cloudflare workers, D1 for storage, KV for lightning fast lookups, and reCAPTCHA to block bots. Just clone, configure, and you're live. Next on our countdown is It's My Tabs, an open source, web-based, self-hostable guitar and bass tab viewer and player, similar to Songster. It supports guitar and bass tabs, syncing them with audio files or YouTube videos, and comes with a MIDI synth so you can mute or solo tracks. You can load a wide range of formats from .gp and MusicXML to .capx. The interface is simple, mobile-friendly, and fully customizable. Choose cursor modes, highlight current bars, color notes, switch between light and dark themes, and even share tabs with friends using links. It's built by someone who fell in love with learning bass and wanted a free, open-source alternative to subscription tools. Next up is Workout Challenge, a web app that lets you compete with friends and colleagues across devices while tracking any activity metric you like. Whether you want to track steps, calories, minutes, or number of workouts, this platform lets you join a friend's competition or create your own. Enter workouts manually or sync automatically with Strava. Points are earned based on your progress toward each goal with configurable minimums and maximums to keep competitions healthy and motivating. Dashboards show personal stats, streaks, and leaderboards. You'll even get weekly emails summarizing your spot on the leaderboard and your progress toward personal goals. Zustan Sync, a lightweight middleware for syncing Zustan stores across multiple clients in real time. It uses JSON patch to translate state changes into small, transportable patches that can be sent over WebSockets, WebRTC, or other transport layers. This means multiple clients can stay in sync efficiently without sending entire state objects. Setup is simple. Install the package, run the provided WebSocket server, and wrap your Zustan store with SyncStore middleware and WebSocket transport provider. From there, your stores stay in sync automatically. Next up is Resterm, 
a terminal-based REST client that supports HTTP, GraphQL, and gRPC, all directly from your command line. It features a workspace explorer to keep your .htp and REST files organized, a modal editor with Vim-style motions, and the ability to run inline requests directly from your terminal with a simple key press. Sessions persist across restarts, and you can configure timeouts, TLS, proxies, and more. Perfect for developers who love powerful by keyboard-driven API testing without leaving the terminal.